Yo, what's up guys? It's Darsh here and in my last video which kind of like was kind of like an April Fool's joke I used a new microphone that you guys may have noticed it sounded a bit weird It didn't sound like what I usually use my voice sounded a bit higher And it just wasn't the greatest when it came to isolating my voice and uh, Cutting out all the background noise So this is actually because I've been using a new mic that SE Electronics was actually really kind to send out So this is my review the SE Electronics DSLR Laser Pro microphone. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so starting off with what I like actually about this microphone and the first thing is the portability of it. So if you guys didn't already know, I've been using the, actually it's right behind me, it's right over there, it's the Blue Yeti Blackout Edition and I use that for all of my voiceovers and for all of my A-roll, but for this video I'll be solely using the SE Electronics Laser Pro. But basically, what I really like about this is the portability of it, as I don't have to carry around such a big device and I also can just plug it straight into the camera, so there's no problems when it comes to actually just filming outside, I don't need a cam I don't need a computer, I don't need anything, I just have it ready, set, just ready to go for me. Another really, really upside, really big upside to this at least, is the actual carrying pouch that it comes in. This device comes with a pretty nice silk feeling textured pouch that holds the device in case you want to pack it and go and you're going to go on a trip. So it works out really, really well when it comes in and it helps with the portability factor that I just mentioned earlier. The mic is also a very, very cheap option and very cheap solution to getting some better audio out of your camera. Now, here's just a little bit for reference. I'm just going to pull out the mic right now, right as we're going, and here. So, if you guys are listening to it right now, you guys can only hear what the camera's microphone offers me. Alright guys, this is a quick sound comparison between the DSLR Laser Pro microphone that usually sits on top of a camera versus this, which is what I'm using right now, a Blue Yeti stereo microphone, which is more used for voiceovers. This is just a quick comparison. Another, in another sense, just for reference. This is what the new microphone that I just got sounds like. So that's just a little comparison between the two, but it's relatively cheap and provides a pretty good sound quality for overall what you're paying. Alright guys, so the last thing I really do love about this device is the fact that it has a removable wire at the back so you can plug it in or plug it out and not only is this a great addition because it's user replaceable in case it ever breaks but it's also just a great addition because you can make the wire and get the wire lo make it longer and as the actual microphone is detachable from the cradle that's in that sits on the hot shoe mount on my camera I can hold it and use it as an interview mic so it becomes an open up this entirely new world for audio and when it comes to actual portability and the audio quality of it and since it's also recording in a cardioid pattern it's only focusing on the person's voice that it's near so it's pretty good at isolating sound but not the best Alright guys, so now I just gotta get into a little bit of the cons. So, it's been catching a lot of the echo from like my room and everything around me, so it's becoming a bit of a problem with that. It's also um, not the most sturdy of a cradle that is on the hot shoe mount. It's not the greatest, it's not the most uh, sturdy, and I feel kind of uncomfortable keeping it there just in case like, I was ever to drop the camera. I'm scared it was gonna break. But other than that, it's pretty cool, and it's pretty good when it comes to audio quality, so it's overall just a pretty good device with a couple of flaws. Alright guys, so let's get into some of the specifics when it comes to the device. So first off, you need a AAA battery to power the device as a whole, and it has an on and off switch built in, so it's not going to be taking any power from your camera itself, which saves you a bit of battery. But alongside this, you also have a negative 10 decibel switch. So what this does is it essentially tries in to eliminate the background noise in your area, so when you flip the switch, it kind of lowers the volume and it helps to reduce the background noise from what I understand. The mic actually comes with a windshield as well, which I'll pull off right now to show you. It is right, right here, and it has the SE Electronics branding sitting on it as well, so it's a really good addition for all those outdoor shooting times. It is a cardioid patterned mic, so that means that it's gonna be focusing on what's in front of it rather than everything around it, and it does an overall great solution if someone wants to start to vlogging, and I'd really recommend it for anyone getting into YouTube right now now because it's a really really good mic for the price. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I know it was a pretty short one and I know that you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it at least, but 
This video was really made possible because of SE Electronics. I took out, I went down to Wim and I asked them to send me out this product and I really appreciate it from them. Uh, though you guys may like this mic right now, I'm actually sending it back. So I'll be back to the Yeti in the next couple days. And if you, maybe you guys want me to keep, maybe reach out to SE Electronics yourself and tell them let me keep it. Nah, I'm just joking. Don't do that. But basically guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new and welcome to all my new viewers. I hope you guys are ready for some great content coming soon. I got my review of the Nexus 6P coming up as well as my D-Brand vs. Thick Wraps skin overall haul which I've been working on for so long. It's really hype. Get ready for that. But that's about it guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Now shake your ass,